In our today's tutorial we will learn about the process flow of reverse osmosis or RO plant. Reverse osmosis process is used to purify the water from unwanted salts, minerals and molecules. Normally water is taken from sea or ground. This water is stored in a tank that is called raw water tank. The storage capacity of raw water tank is depending on the capacity of RO plant. Water is supplied to the plant from the raw water tank by the raw water pump. Single stage centrifugal pump is used for this purpose. Sometimes raw water pump is also called RO feed water pump. Water flows to multimedia filter from the raw water pump. In the multimedia filter suspended solids up to 50 microns are removed from the water. If you want to know more details of multimedia filter you can find the in the i button or visit my channel. I have already made a details video on multimedia filter. The outlet water of multimedia filter is flow to cartridge filter. In the cartridge filter up to 5 microns suspended solids are removed. Cartridge filter feed the water to the high pressure pump of RO plant. High pressure pump increases the water pressure. The range of pressure is depending upon the design of the plant. This high pressurized water then enters into RO membrane vessel. One or more membranes are installed in a vessel. RO membrane is permeable membrane which have, one inlet and two outlets connections. Water enters from the inlet point and flows on the surface of membrane. The filtered or product water is collected in perforated pipe that is inserted in the center of membrane. The remaining high salts concentrated water is collected from the reject line. This filtered or product water is also called permeate water. Usually 60% of water is collected as filtered water and 40% water goes to reject tank. This is the normally designed percentage for single stage RO system by the manufacturer. For the two stage RO system this percentage is 70% and 30%. However, this percentage is changeable and we can change this percentage as per requirements. Now let's see the chemicals use in the RO plant. Usually five types of chemical are used in the RO plants, these numbers may be increase or decrease in any specific location or plant. Number one is sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is injected in the water for disinfection before the multimedia filter. When we inject sodium hypochlorite it produces hypochlorous acid, this acid then reacts with microorganisms in the water, like bacteria, viruses and algae, and deactivates them, preventing them from being able to reproduce or pose a risk to human health. Number 2 is sodium bisulfite or sodium metabisulfite. Sodium hypochlorite is harmful for the RO membranes, before the water enters in RO membranes, sodium hypochlorite must be removed from the water. To remove the sodium hypochlorite from the water sodium bisulfite is used. This process is also called dichlorination. Number 3 is hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is used to reduce the pH of the water before the membranes. The range of pH can be different for the different types of water quality or location and membranes. Number 4 is antiscalant. Antiscalant is used to prevent the scaling in the RO membranes. It's highly effective in preventing the membranes from scaling. Before the feed water enters the reverse osmosis membrane, an antiscalant is injected into the water. Number 5 is caustic soda or lime. Caustic soda or lime is used in the post-treatment it means when the product or permeate water. It is used to increase the pH of the water. The range of pH can be 7 or more depend on the uses of the water. 